much for tuning into the Fumble for more awesome sports news and commentary. Make sure you click that subscribe button and join the notification squad for updates on all the latest. I'm your host, Britt Johnson. The sports world can be a very, very dangerous place to be. Athletes get injured every day in sports, hoping to not have a career-ending injury. Some say the most unfortunate time to get an injury is during practice for the obvious reason that, well, you're only practicing. But I actually think the most unfortunate place you can get injured is during a game while you're celebrating. So here it is in no particular order, the top five times athletes were injured while celebrating. So first we have Thomas Levitt. Yep, leave it up to a golfer to break his leg while celebrating after winning in a non-contact sport. Way to go, buddy. In 2011, Thomas won the French Open and decided to celebrate by jumping into the water where he then broke his shin. <laughs> Plus is, at least he didn't have to go to work the next day. He could take all his winnings, head to the Bahamas, and recover there. Not too shabby. Next we have Gus Verlott. Leave it to the Washington Redskins quarterback to headbutt a padded wall with his helmet on after a touchdown against NFC rivals, the New York Giants. Granted, this was back in the day in 1997 when they didn't know about CTE yet, but yeah, buddy, I think you probably got a concussion on that one. Not a good idea. <music> Gus is now a high school football coach and seems to be doing just fine. Next up is Ryan Dempster, who is definitely a part of the reason why the Cubs maybe didn't win the World Series for a hundred and some odd years. Back in 2009, Ryan caught his foot on the dugout rail and then slammed his foot while trying to hop over onto the field to run and celebrate a win and broke his big toe. He was out for over a month and the Cubs missed the playoffs that season by 4.5 games. We have another silly, silly Washington Redskins player on this list, D'Angelo Hall. So this injury is so epically embarrassing because it happened to be a game when Hall wasn't even playing because he was already injured with a right knee sprain. So he did his best from the sideline as a cheerleader and I personally cheered for over 15 years so I know it's not an easy task. In fact, D'Angelo gave himself crazy back spasms while cheering on the sidelines and after the game he had this to say. I probably should have been up in the suites relaxing but I wanted to be down there with my teammates and encourage my guys on. I found myself almost jumping up and down every play. And last but certainly not least, Miss Lindsay Vaughn. In 2009, Vaughn needed tendon surgery on her right thumb, not because of a fall or a collision on the slopes, but because she cut herself on a broken champagne bottle while celebrating from a victory. Lindsay and Tiger definitely should get back together. They seem perfect for each other. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna put you guys to work now. I listed the top five. Now, I want you guys to put them in order for me from worst celebration injury to the very best in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and shop the Fumble Store before you go, and I'll see you guys next week.